Beloved soul, it's Melina, the Encoding Shamanic Peacemaker. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do uh, one of my pop-up love readings where we actually spy a little bit on your person to see what they're thinking and feeling and inside. <laughs> and uh, well, let's see um, uh, how far it goes uh, today. Um, um, let's start. I want to start with the tarot. So we're using the light seers. I, I, I'm hearing spirit tell me today. <laughs> All right. So let's begin. Person. You know, right this moment, right this minute, what are they feeling? What are they feeling about you? What are they actually feeling? So I'll just pull down the camera a little bit here so we can connect a little bit more. So I want to know about the person, the feelings when they think about you right now. Okay, page of wands. So I'm, I'm just getting excitement inside of them, like uh, like bubbles inside, you know, um, like a, a champagne uh, bottle uh, filled with bubbles. <laughs> okay. Um, like a, a little kind of youthful love, like, you know, the first love energy. Like, it's like, whew, I'm, I'm just really getting um, them being uh, intemperance. <laughs> Okay, so let's see how to read this. I feel like this temperance is like, I've never met anyone like you before. I feel like you were brought by the angels. You make me so happy. You make me so happy. And uh, so, well, uh, this person is so mature and intellectual and rational. And, uh, and this is who they are, I just feel like. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> And they think of you as the Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, Ace of Swords and Ten of Pentacles and, uh, well, Three of Wands. Okay, so your person is... When they think of you, <laughs> it's like we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, here comes out here. Okay, so, um, well, I'm not sure, uh, actually, um, I just feel like, um, <laughs> I feel like they're deep in, into it, inside of themselves. They sort of can't hold themselves back anymore, right? It's like, so, so they come in and tells us that they are actually thinking about what to do here they're thinking a lot about you they're really thinking a lot about you they come in as this queen of pentacles this beautiful caring woman um, female i mean uh, divine female that is um, always cared caring for other people so friendly so loving so beautiful um, self-sufficient and strong and grounded and uh so they're a lot up in their head about this, okay? Um, but that is because they see themselves as a match. They come in as the king of pentacles as well. And I feel like these two kings is one king, but two sides of them. You know what I mean? Uh, so they, they are like, um, well, finally seeing that you are my match. You are my other half. And, uh, and right now they're still contemplating, they're still thinking about it, they're still waiting, they're waiting while this is bubbling inside and growing and growing and growing. I'm just seeing that and hearing that. Um, they, they really truly understand that you're God sent with this temperance card. And in the beginning, it was, oh, are we too different from each other because we're opposites? Perhaps he's, they are uh, the intellectual and you are more spiritual or more, well, m emotional, I'm getting from this reading. Because you are also two queens. They are two kings and you are two queens. You are the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. The queen of cups is the queen of love. 
the the divine feminine that's able to connect directly to all emotions all kinds of emotions both your own and theirs right and um um and perhaps they're not the best at connecting themselves with uh, their own emotions because they're very much up in their head and they're very practical um so they're like how can i fit this into my life because this king of pentacles is a practical um rational loving caring person but still it is you know i need logic behind everything i do and <laughs> uh and 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 uh, and also i have like an, an a tendency of always saying to myself then you need to work on it you need to work on it um and then we'll see what happens and where it goes right so I feel like they have been holding uh, well the energy back a little bit because they take their time to figure things out because unlike you, they don't go into their heart straight away and feel everything uh, about their feelings towards you. They go straight to their mind and ask their mind, is this even possible? And perhaps, uh, well, um, a, f a long way down the road, it, it, they didn't seem to f sort of um, uh, think that it was even possible um, because you both are very strong people with very strong foundations behind you and underneath you or um, lives that are already built, I'm getting. So, well, you will have to, well... Um, let go of some stuff to uh, be able to re receive new things from one another and you're gonna have to also be ready to receive these new things and you can't until you have let go of other things I'm getting okay uh, there is something about this coin there is there is there are this one coin everywhere that's king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles and the ace of pentacles uh, so this might resonate for someone and uh, um, well um, I just see um, what they're thinking is um, I see a beautiful life with you I just definitely see a beautiful life with you uh, I'm trying to figure out how to well uh, begin this and how to start this off because we have two aces they are new beginnings right ace of pentacles and ace of swords but the sun is here and they are getting clear i feel like right in this moment they're clear about what they want finally they're clear about what they want um because they come in as two kings and those kings know what they want. The page is just their inner emotions, their inner bubbly uh, feelings and sensations inside because they are becoming in love with you, okay? And, but the kings are sure about what they want. And uh, the sun will, will you know, um, shine the light on the truth here right and the truth is that you bring them so much happiness and 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 that they see and feel that an angel has brought you and that actually opposites do attract in a beautiful way if you um if you think about it right because we have the moon and the sun in this card and and it's it's in, in <laughs> the wider uh, way uh, then you know we have oil mixing uh, with water but in a beautiful way in this card oil can mix beautifully together with water okay so um and they're seeing that that this is actually uh, not a problem it's not a challenge it's a, a a gift and it's brought by the angels it's brought by well their higher self the universe god whatever but it feels like it was sort of handed to them okay um, by something 
And this Ace of Swords is, I'm, I know what to do now. I'm clear about what I want. And what I want is this Queen of Cups. Look, this Queen of Cups is sort of wrapped in these two Aces, these two new beginnings. This is a new beginning of a new life. Uh, and a new, new life is like, you know, you work for it, you uh, provide for each other, you talk to each other, you speak, you uh, make love, you, you love each other, you have kids together, you uh, go to work every day and you, whatever, you know, um, and that's a new beginning uh, in, in life that they are wanting here on the third dimension with you, right? And, um, and they're sure, I'm, I'm hearing the word sure with this Ace of Swords, that this will provide a beautiful life. We have Ace and Ten. So, well, it jumps from Ace to Ten in Pentacles here. And that, that's like, I've seen how this can actually happen. I, I believe now that this can actually happen that we can have a perfect life with one another. Um, okay, so, um, and they're coming for you with this three of wands. It's um, now I, I just have to plan when and how. Okay, <laughs> so, um, oh my God, this, the feeling I'm sitting in right now, right here is so much love for you so much clarity, so much um, longing. I'm getting longing and I'm, I'm, I just want to kiss you. I want to kiss you. I want to hold you. I want to touch you. I want to tell you um, what I feel. I can hardly wait. Wow, what a beautiful energy coming in here, you guys. I really like this reading for you. And I feel like we're not doing any more cards today. It's just everything is right here. Everything is right here. Okay, so... Um, yeah, okay. I, I'm, I'm a little curious. So, well, how will and when or what, you know, will they come in? Let's do uh, my cards Love Ink <laughs> uh, because they're very practical, actually. Uh, these are my cards uh, Love Ink, a lover's oracle deck. I made them myself. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I really like to use them because they have pictures and words and then, you know, we can get clear on what are they planning so let's i want to know how will they actually come in um i miss you that's what i and growing old together <laughs> new approach <laughs> all right so um yeah so it's like when or once they just can't uh be without you anymore uh, they will come in. It's like, I, I can't do it anymore. I'm just, I want you. I'm just, uh, uh, and then this card came out, happy family uh, and desire. So what I'm getting here is they're like, uh, I know I have been, you know, taking my time with this King of Pentacles, which is a very slow King and the King of Swords is someone who's always in their mind thinking and thinking instead of always acting just as much, you know, because when they're with the King of Pentacles, they are sort of, well, handcuffed from doing anything until, until, you know, uh, the stars align or whatever, right? So, um, uh, but they have been missing you. And right now, right this minute, they're missing you and they're thinking about a life with you. And they're thinking about if there was anyone, if there was anyone in the world I could grow old with, it would be you. It would be you and only you. So they're taking a new approach now. That means they're changing lines or whatever lanes. <laughs> I mean, and, uh, and and like, well, um, now it's my turn to come in and tell you that uh, I really want to 
to connect with you. I want to to be a family with you. Uh, I have so much desire for you and I feel like perhaps this desire will come first. Uh, that means that they will come in, they will kiss you, they will make love to you, whatever, you know, touch you and uh, and then, well, whatever uh, is going on with families, kids, what, whatever you have in your life, wishes or what, uh, it will come, you know, after. It's like, I just want to be with you. I ha want to have a happy family. We have happy family and ten of pentacles. That's why I was talking, and we have kids. So it's like, I'm ready now. I'm ready now. So don't be afraid. Um, I'm... And perhaps this was what they have been contemplating. Perhaps you have kids and they have kids and there, there, there could be a little too many or what, I don't know. Or perhaps uh, they don't want kids and you want kids and they're finally saying, yeah, let's do it, whatever, you know. Um, surprise invitation. All right, so, um, so you will get a surprising invitation here. Uh, I've been hiding my feelings and I feel like an apology is coming in here with this. I've been hiding my feelings. Uh, it's just because I've been planning and it had nothing to do with you and me doubting you. I always, I've always loved you since the first time I saw you, they're saying to me, I, you know, and, and then you're going to be like, I snatched him <laughs> because you've always known it too, right? You have always known it too, that you are a sacred union. You guys are a sacred union. But to them, you are their first love. And that scared the hell out of them. Okay? And a twin flame. Okay, so... um. Wow, what a reading here. Um, the, the twin flame energy is, uh, well, um, always uh, someone um, chasing the other in the beginning. <laughs> and uh, the one that's been hunted is like, wow, well, take it easy. Um, uh, I'll just uh, have to, well, ghost you there for a while because I can't deal with this. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too much. Uh, a lot of things in my life have to be planned first until we can get on with this, you know, or I can make my decision. And I want to come in correct, I'm hearing them say. And I, I just, I can't come in correct if, uh, if I don't have time to actually figure it out with you uh, and then you know I have to disconnect for a little while and then be with you again then disconnect and then, so taking it back and forth and taking it slow I'm hearing just I want to take things slow um, because when I uh, just uh, when I discovered that you were my first love or my soul did or I don't know uh, if I really um, did discover anything about it uh, like rationally in the beginning but it scared the hell out of me right so I'm and you scared the hell out of me because well you're my other half that means you're so different from me but I'm so attracted to you but uh, I can't figure things out uh, so I've been unsure uh, and I've also been unsure whether if well if you had the same type of feelings for me or what these feelings were but I've gotten more and more passionate about you and I've, I've been wanting you more and more and desiring you more and more. Um, and, uh, and I can't stop thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. And I just want you now. And this is a, a good energy on the fairy tale romance. Does these relationships actually, actually, uh, will happen and they have been thinking to themselves is this too good to be true is this too good to be true but what i'm getting here is most definitely <laughs> it, it's not too good to be true this is true love when you can't stop thinking about a person um you, you can't stop watching this person and you feel in your soul 
that there is something sacred between you. There is something that you cannot control. It's just, it's not, in, it's not up to you, I'm hearing. It's just not up to you. Okay. And then moving in together, I am manifesting you. So, uh, and of course, if they have been thinking, uh, you know what, we I'll have to grow old with you. That means we have to move in together and can that be possible or all the things I have in my life or wanted or was looking for, I have to let go of a lot of them. <laughs> and, uh, well, uh, you know, um, well, I've, I just, I, I can't do anything about it anymore. No matter what, I, I, I just am manifesting you. Even though uh, I rationally say to myself, don't, <laughs> I, I just can't stop it. I, I'm, I'm doing it all the time. I'm manifesting you. And right now, I just want you to pick me. I just want you to pick me because I don't want you to be with anyone else or think about it, anyone else. I just want this beautiful meeting with you. I, I can't wait for the meeting. I can't wait to see you. I just, I, I need to see you. I need you to pick me. So a message is coming from them soon. <laughs> um, about perhaps a journey. If perhaps do you want to travel with me, do you want to go on a journey with me or they will journey to you. I'm coming for you. We, we were seeing, you know, um, uh, and... Um, and yeah, um, and let's get to know each other even more. <laughs> yeah, so they just want to be with you. They want to just be with you all the time. If they could, just all the time, right? It's like, yeah, I just want to be with you. I want to create a new life with you. <laughs> yeah. And procrastination to me procrastination means here I want to have kids with you or I will take care of kids with you or um, I want to begin a new life I want to have sex with you I want I, I just I want to will be with you physically or I I just want to build uh, a, a, a new uh, life a new foundation um, you know, I want to tend, well, the garden, <laughs> our garden. I want to just, uh, well, um, put all of my energy into creating this. All right. So this is what I had for you, you guys. Uh, what a beautiful energy. Um, your person is really uh, thinking about you and, and becoming more and more in love with you. All right. So this is what I had, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And... Um, like, as you know, I do have a summer discount on my readings. I have two different types of readings. The first one is a one hour reading and I choose the crystal on my table for your energy uh, specifically. And I film the table just like now. And uh, I really get to connect with your energy and your person's energy very, very well in this type of reading because I have time to actually pull your person's energy in so I get to go really deep with this person. So if you want answers about a, a specific person, I really recommend this one. It's a very popular reading. Um, then I have a reading for 20 minutes. Um, and, uh, and three cards I put on the table. Um, I can hardly, you know, get that deep uh, with your person. So it's more like an overall energy from them um, uh, in this reading. You should know that, okay? So, um, but it still is, uh, well, uh, a way to do it, right? So, um, and if you want one, then uh, send me an email. You can find it in the description box, of course, and um, I'll just uh, write back to you <clears throat> as soon as possible. All right, so you guys, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to hit the bell button so we connect, right? Uh, take care.